बिफोर गोइंग इन टू दिस वीडियो वी हर्टली वेलकम यू ऑल इन टू ई गुरुकुलम फॉर आई एस लेट्स स्टार्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी लर्न अबाउट लैंडफॉर्म्स अक्रॉस रिवर्स ग्लेसियर्स एंड डेजर्ट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कर्स्ट टॉपोग्राफी एंड लैंडफॉर्म्स मेड बाय लाइन स्टोन एंड चौक कर्स्ट इज अ टॉपोग्राफी फॉर्म फ्रॉम द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ सोल्यूबल रॉक्स सच एज लाइम स्टोन डोलमाइट एंड जिप्सम इट इज कैरेक्टरिजेड बाय अंडरग्राउंड ड्रेनेज सिस्टम्स विथ सिंक होल्स एंड केव्स कर्स्ट इज मोस्ट स्ट्रांगली डेवलप्ड इन डेंस कार्बोनेट रॉक such as limestone that is thinly bedded and highly fractured kerst is not typically well developed in chalk because chalk is highly porous rather than dense so the flow of ground water is not concentrated along with fractures kerst is also most strongly developed where the water table is relatively low such as in uplands with entrenched valleys and where rainfall is moderate to heavy kerst's are found in widely scattered sections of the world including the courses of France the Quincy area of China the Yukon peninsula and the middle west Kentucky and Florida in the United States in India kerst topography is present in the Vindhya region mainly southwestern Bihar the Himalayas parts of Jammu and Kashmir Robert Cave Sahasradhara the eastern Himalayas areas near Dehradun Pachmadhi in Madhya Pradesh Gupt Godavari cave in Chitrakoot UP the surrounding coast near vishakhapatnam borra caves and bastar in chatisgarh depositional landforms of kerst topography speleothems all types of deposits in the caverns are collectively called speleothems of which calcite is the common constituent speleothems most commonly form in calcareous caves due to carbonate dissolution reactions they can take a variety of forms depending on their depositional history and environment stalactites and helictite the water containing limestone in solution seeps through the roof in the form of a continuous chain of drops a portion of the roof hangs on the roof and on evaporation of water a small deposit of limestone is left behind contributing to the formation of a stalactite growing downwards from the roof usually the base is broader than the free end of the hanging stalactites The ones that descend vertically are known as stalactites whereas the ones that extend horizontally or diagonally are known as helictites. Stalagmites and halagmite. A stalagmite is a type of rock formation that rises from the floor of a cave due to the accumulation of material deposited on the floor from the ceiling drippings. It is an upward growing mound of mineral deposits that have precipitated from water dripping onto the floor of a cave. ones that extend horizontally or diagonally from stalagmites are known as halagmite cave pillars the combination or fusion of stalactites and stalagmites form the pillars the diameters of pillars vary drapes or curtain numerous needle shaped drip stones hanging from the cave ceiling are called drapes or curtains tufa Tufa is a variety of limestone formed when carbonate minerals precipitate out of ambient temperature water. Geothermally heated hot springs sometimes produce similar but less porous carbonate deposits which are known as travertine. Dripstone. Calcium carbonate rock deposited in caves by the precipitation of calcite from water as excess dissolved carbon dioxide is diffused into the atmosphere. Terra rossa. Terra rossa is a well-drained reddish clay to silty clay soil with neutral pH conditions. That's all for this video. Meet you in next video discussing about erosional landforms in cursed topography. Thank you. Like and subscribe to e Gurukulam for IIS.